We grew up learning about these seven continents, which include Asia, Australia, North and South America, Africa, Europe, and Antarctica. All seven continents are visible on the world map. But it wasn't always this way. The Earth did not have seven continents until 300 years ago. There was just one massive supercontinent, the Pangaea, which was surrounded by one vast ocean, Panthalassa. Panthalassa was the only ocean that existed on the supercontinent up until almost 200 million years ago. However, after 375 years, scientists have uncovered one more continent beneath the sea. How did this continent form? What used to reside there? How long has it been underwater? Join us as we study this bizarre recent discovery of a submerged continent. A supercontinent is a massive landmass formed by the convergence of several other continents. Pangaea existed roughly 225 million years ago, and this is the most widely mentioned supercontinent. All the now major continents are thought to have existed in the Pangaea supercontinent. Then, it began to fragment. The plate tectonics theory can explain these continent movements. According to this theory, the Earth's crust is made up of numerous plates. The crust and a little section of the mantle beneath make up these plates. The plates migrate through a weak area in the Earth's mantle at a few centimeters every year. The movement of tectonic plates results from the mantle convection currents driven by heat escaping from the Earth's interior. Pangaea's fragmentation resulted in the formation of Laurasia and Gondwanaland. During the Triassic period, a smaller fragment of the Pangaea called Laurasia traveled northward before dividing into what is now known as Europe, Asia, and North America. Gondwana, the larger fragment, then separated into our present-day continents of South America, Antarctica, the Indian subcontinent, Africa, Australia, and the Arabian Peninsula. Together, these continents make up almost two-thirds of the current continent. It took scientists 375 years to discover a section of Gondwana that gave rise to the world's eighth continent. Abel Tasman was on a mission in 1642. The renowned Dutch sailor was certain that a massive continent existed in the Southern Hemisphere and was eager to discover it. He had a dramatic mustache, a wild goatee, and a penchant for harsh punishment as he later attempted to hang members of his crew while intoxicated for questioning his objective. At that time, Europeans had no idea about this portion of the Earth, but they were certain that there must be a large landmass out there to balance out their continent in the North, which they had termed Terra Australis. The belief had persisted since the time of the ancient Romans, but it was going to be tested for the first time by Tasman. So, on August 14th, Tasman and two other small boats set off from the Indonesian port of Jakarta where his company was situated and traveled west, south, then east until they arrived at New Zealand's South Island. He struggled to communicate with the indigenous Maori people, who are thought to have arrived several millennia earlier. On the second day, some Maori canoed out and assaulted a small boat carrying messages and signals between the Dutch ships. The incident claimed the lives of four Europeans. Following that, the Europeans fired a cannon at 11 other canoes, the fate of which is unknown. This effectively ended Tasman's mission. Tasman dubbed the tragic spot Murderer's Bay and set sail home a few weeks later, all without ever stepping foot on this new continent. Although he thought he had located the great southern continent, it was not the commercial paradise he had imagined. He departed and never returned. Although Australia was already well known, the Europeans concluded it was not the legendary continent they sought. It was renamed Terra Australis after a change of heart. Tasman had no idea he'd been correct the entire time. There was a continent that had yet to be uncovered. Geologists caused a stir in 2017 when they announced the discovery of Zealandia, also known as Te Riu Amui, in Maori. The world's eighth continent remained hidden from view for almost 350 years, and it took scientists over 350 years to locate it. It covers 1.89 million square miles and is about six times the size of Madagascar. Even though encyclopedias, maps, and search engines have long claimed that there are only seven continents in the world, the team insisted that there are more than seven. There are eight of them, and the most recent one is the world's smallest, thinnest, and youngest, surpassing all prior records. However, there are still concerns about the landmass. The difficulty is that 94% of it is buried, with only a few islands protruding from the depths of the ocean, such as the New Zealand Island. 
The name Zealandia was coined in 1995 by geophysicist Bruce Lewendyke to characterize the region that comprises New Zealand and several emerged crustal fragments that broke off from the ancient Gondwana continent roughly 85 million years ago. Zealandia was part of Gondwana when it was initially formed 550 million years ago. The entire southern hemisphere's continent was nearly wrapped up in one enormous mass at that time. It was in the eastern corner, bordering several other countries, including all of eastern Australia and half of West Antarctica. Zealandia began to be dragged away around 100 million years ago, owing to an unknown process. When compared to the oceanic crust, which is typically 10 kilometers thick, the continental crust is frequently 40 kilometers deep. Zealandia became so stretched due to the tension that its crust can now only be visible 12.4 miles below the surface. The wafer-thin continent gradually sunk, though not quite to the level of typical oceanic crust. Zealandia's earliest crust appears to have developed around 500 million years ago when the continent was part of Gondwana. The more ancient crust has yet to be discovered. Although Zealandia may contain older rocks, including mantle fragments reaching back as long as 2.7 billion years. The scientists studied 169 samples of Zealandia granite discovered beneath New Zealand South and Stewart Islands. Magma crystallizes to make granite deep within the Earth's crust. Despite being tiny and submerged, scientists believe Zealandia is a continent because of the rocks that can be found there. The majority of the ocean floor is made up of igneous rocks like basalt, while the continental crust is made up of metamorphic, igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks such as granite, schist, and limestone. However, there are a lot of unanswered questions. Because of its unusual origins, the Eighth Continent fascinates geologists and perplexes them. For example, it's still unknown how Zealandia, which is exceedingly thin, managed to remain whole and avoid breaking up into numerous tiny microcontinents. Another unanswered question is when and how Zealandia became submerged and if dry land ever existed on the continent. When the Australian and Pacific tectonic plates met, they formed ridges that are presently above sea level. Another question is whether when Zealandia split, if it was dry ground or completely submerged except for a few small islands. Another question is what creatures lived there? Because of its warm climate and 39 million square miles spread, Gondwana was home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including the earliest four-limbed terrestrial animals and an abundance of the largest beast to ever live, the Titanosaurus. These questions explain why something so evident may take so long to locate, and all of this is only the beginning, as the continent remains a mystery five years later, hiding beneath 6,500 feet of water. The continent of Zealandia is not going to reveal all of its mysteries anytime soon. Making discoveries is difficult when everything is 6,500 feet underwater, and the strata that need to be examined are 1,600 feet below the seabed. Exploring such a vast continent is quite tough. As a result, deploying ships to survey regions requires a lot of money, time, and effort. Even if nothing else, the existence of the world's eighth continent indicates that there is still much to be discovered 400 years after Tasman's exploration. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. Let us know in the comments section if you believe Zealandia exists or not. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.